I don't know what's going on. Uh, at the door I don't know the how, how did it start. Like, chat, don't be oh, biased. I know how it started. Yeah, chat, don't be biased. Don't be for Gatorade. Right. Don't. Oh, I cannot take your opinion <laughs> because I know, I know it's too. But Joe Budden was being a chatty cat. Thank was you. This, Joe okay, Budden okay, was okay. being a. So was this just oh. random? Because I'm not gonna lie. It if was random. Just... Nah, is it the Twitter space? Is it the Twitter space? No, no, no. It was an yeah. actual pod. I don't, I don't know if it was a Patreon. Oh no, it was yeah. a pod. Yeah, yeah, it was a pod. There was a clip. Behind, was talking about I'm the pod, so I don't know. Oh, all I know is there, the there's a clip yeah. at some point during a recent pod. Joe Budden was like, "All right, let, let's get to the bottom of this. Let's get to the real meat, meat and potatoes." Because yeah. the the label signed me off for some. Why be? He makes music. He makes this, that, and the third. And then why be saw that. And um, responded to, to it on Instagram or whatever. Told him to pull up. <laughs> you, you got a small penis. Can't even get hard. That's what he told him. Wow. Yeah, he that said ass. you can't get hard anymore, you old bitch. It's like, <laughs> it, again, in the most yeah. young boy fashion, right. he clapped back at the nigga. It was hey, say, 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 bitch. Say, 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 say. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, that nigga need to stop responding, but he also needs to never stop responding. Shit's hilarious. I think that that's, that's, that's this hilarious. clip. So it started off with Joe Budden talking about his music, right? Yep. And mm -hmm. then why he no, We probably that. can't clip that. What? I, I don't have that. I don't have that. So I'll okay. play that. But I'll play this. The last thing I dropped was a Saturday two. My album still in the top ten. Pussy ass nigga. Don't speak on me. I don't play that shit. Don't rat on me neither. You pussy bitch. The game, bubba. I said I got you know, doing the old stupid thing. dumb bitch. Your dick don't even get hard no more. I don't know. <laughs> I ain't no. I ain't no sabotaging me, bitch. Fuck on with that nigga, man. Don't rat on me. I'm, don't rat on me, bitch. Hey, and I don't want all you in bed, nigga. Hey. Bitch, you do all them interviews. Hey, come on, great nigga, mount and talk to me, nigga. You can't, bitch, you can't do that, man. Hey, bitch, man. Nigga, shut your fucking mouth. Hey, hey you a bum, you that's, bitch. That's all it is. All those, all those Wait, are yeah, all six of these? No, those are different disses. No, different all dis different, different disses that YB's now. I'm about to say, if those all was him, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Joe yeah. got in the house. He got no. a girl got in the car. Joe, you a bitch, you a bitch. <laughs> You're God. still a bitch, nigga. Let me be very clear. Three hours later, I went to get some food. So I say, you still a bitch, dog. Like, God damn. <laughs> yeah, so, I had to so pick my children up, button, but right? you still a hoe. <laughs> yeah. The first one's for Joe and then okay. this is when you play the space clip. The, the space clip. Right. So then Joe Budden, and they be, they do they do spaces. Joe Budden and the Joe Budden podcast do spaces on Sundays. And so, uh, you know, shut the friend of the show feet for putting us on. But <laughs> this is a Joe Budden in a space, apparently. Oh, wow. Y'all don't think Joe is cloud chasing with that? No, he's he's a, he's a, he he his podcast is the number one music podcast. So he, he, I just want to say I'm way bigger than him. Stop this. Pause. Well, oh. Penis wise or what is going on? <laughs> he did say your dick don't get hard. I can't. I just want to say I'm bigger spaces. than him. I could not be in these spaces. <laughs> is he talking about penis or no? I don't. Uh, no, nah, he's talking about cloud. He's talking about cloud. Yeah. I, I don't know. Oh, I thought he was talking about penis. I think he says way bigger than him. He's speaking on a overall presence platform. Wait, like, pause, pause, pause. Yo. Is that not feats? No, I think that that's she said it's not her. She said that's not her. She checked yeah, me on Domo's okay. tag there. I didn't watch I, that I, guess that, I see what she said on Domo's tweet. Okay. Yeah, okay. I thought that was her. And she said it wasn't. So I didn't tweet nothing else. Shouts out to Feats, man. Did you, know, did you, you <laughs> young idiots get fooled by these label metrics and these digital tricks? Would you like me to read you the numbers on Young Boy's last six projects? No, Yo, go I'm, for no, it. Go no, for no, it. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Go like, for it. Go for it. Yo, don't cut him off while he's talking. Yo, Joe, go for it. Right. You want to read? I mean, I don't want to. I, did, I mean, Ken, I, think no, I, had, no, I didn't mm -hmm. think I had to do this because <laughs> I'm sure someone here is recording. Oh. Uh, I mean, we're always we you, record every. On you. 2022. Real 20, quick. 2022 never broke again. Quando Rondo LLC 14,000 copies. Week one, Billboard position 62. Nah, then you have for this. Uh, Fed's that. baby, money bag, yo, 2017, 21,000, week one, 38, uh, 3,800 degrees, October 7th, 2022, 24,000, 
Uh, what else we got? Better than you with the baby. March fourth, twenty twenty two. Twenty eight thousand until I return. Twenty twenty. Twenty nine thousand. Stop this, yo. Stop. You skipped a January, bunch of projects, bro. Re- you skipped a 6, bunch of projects. 2023. Jefferson. 29,000. Here, we got another one here. 2022. Drama, I got a family. 39,000. We got another one here. September 6th. Never broke again. 39,000. We got another one here. 2018. 43,000. We got another one. 43,000. 2018. We got another one here. 51,000. 2023. The point is... You, you're doing a lot for somebody that don't sell more than sixty thousand records. Like, stop it! I give they get for the box, Joe. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. But enough of it. Enough young people just saying stupid shit in hip hop. We get it. You like who you like, <laughs> awesome. But it's not this dominant force that you niggas keep trying to make it out to be. Y'all do the same thing with Grant. Y'all do the same thing with all these new niggas that you like. Just stop it. Let me say this. <laughs> they live in a box, Joe. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Let me say this because the souls knows I know some insane young boy fans. Like insane, <laughs> insane young boy fans. So for the Wabi fans that are probably typing crazy, I see Dwayne already going crazy. Yo, I'll admit, oh, without a shadow of a doubt, there's no debate. That nigga Joe Button had specific selection. That's just a fact. There is certain projects that he avoided. I think he damn near named all mixtapes that weren't promoted. There are certain projects that clearly met his requirement uh, that he just straight up avoided to say. So I will put that out there, but regardless, we can continue to set that. But I'll just say he was, to, he was dodging. He was to hand select what the first three he named were those not collab projects? Well, yeah, not even first three. The Quando, the Quando Rondo, the Money Bag Yo, and the The Baby one. Those are collab collab projects. Mm-hmm. Crazy, but even then, Joe Joe Ho Button. I challenge you to drop three to four projects in one year, and let's see how much you sell first week on each projects. If you're so much bigger, drop four projects in one year and see if you sell sixty k on all four projects. But if you if you compare if you compare and I just did some math, I'm nasty. If you compare what his lane is versus what what his lane is, Young Boy's lane is, Joe gets like four million spins a week. Like four million views plus plays on the audio side per week, and this is dropping two times a week. It doesn't include the Patreon and shit like that. I don't know. But that I'm doesn't to account make... for unique viewers, though, does it not? No, it doesn't. And I'm, it, but Young Boys numbers don't count for unique viewers either. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it correlate as best as possible. There's not a one to one. It's, it's, it's hard to do. But four million views a week. Well, well really five, four point eight million views. I don't think there's 4.8 people, 4.8 million people watching Joe Budden. The On a same weekly way, basis? The same way when we look at our numbers and we see, I don't know, 500,000 views a week, there's 500,000 people watching. Oh, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I don't I don't think that's the case. There could be double ups. There could be shit, watch, you know, playing itself or rewatch or, you know, whatever the case may be. But based off of this math, he gets 2.3 uh, million audio listens a week, plays a week. And then on the view side, it's 129 over the course of the year, 129 million. You divide that by 52, that's like two something. So you add it together, it's 4.8 million. And that's just with what we've already gotten so far. I don't know. There's a couple more weeks left in December. Yeah, I don't know what the actual who analytics you, are. Oh, go ahead. No who do you, who, if they start doing live shows, because I don't think that, I think it's a very nasty conversation to start comparing podcast viewers and plays to yeah, to the yeah. That's, super, that, that's super nasty some people just go to concerts just because too like they don't, they don't even know the dude too. not even that not even that i will i will say i think the i mean a better way to do it was if they're doing live shows who do you think i don't even want to say will sell out more live shows but that ain't a concert. because it, I, who do you think would do better on a tour of doing live shows doing a live podcast doing a live little whatever you want to do for joe button versus doing a show for young boy do you think Joe Budden would be able to compete or outcompete with him there? Because there are people who could do like their podcast live and outdo a lot of rappers. Revenue wise, it would be Joe Budden. But yeah, yeah. now, if we're talking amount of people that would show up, you have a whole different conversation. But Rev Joe, Rev. But even but even then, wasn't Young Boy one of the ones that canceled the concerts? Mm, that's a great mm. this year. Wasn't I don't that? Know. 
I don't know. I know, I know Gunner did. Baby did. did. Baby I, wasn't did. Sure. I mean, I wasn't sure if he was. was is he still going through the legal shit? Ain't that why he's in Utah or whatever it is? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not young boy Savvy A. Dwayne. Let me know. Why we still on house arrest? Yeah, this yeah, one, know. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I don't know about. I, I thought he was still on house arrest. I didn't think he toured yet. Yeah, he, he can't leave Utah. He can't leave his house. Yeah, we need. Okay, yeah. so I'm we need. Uh, we need like Alabama. Alabama. Yeah, we need. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. There's there's specific details, but the topic's interesting at the end of the day because um, when he just when he claims that he is pause if needed bigger than him, um, I just I mean I don't know if he left off the numbers because if he um left included projects like top. He included projects like Colors. He included older projects that a lot of people receive a lot uh, more welcoming to, at least, that um, he would seem smaller than him, again, pause if needed. But um, that's – I don't I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's a genuine question who the bigger celebrity in 2020 heading into 24 is. That's actually a weirdly interesting conversation. I'll say that. Maybe it's a stupid combo, but it's an interesting one. I don't even think that's a fair conversation because I feel like if it comes to, I feel like perception and I can't even say in their lane because they're viewed both as like at the top of what they do. Young Boy is considered one of the top hot rappers what? right now. Yes, Young Boy is considered one of the top hot rappers. Yeah, he, he, I'm, not yeah. I'm not saying the best. I'm not saying the best. I'm not saying he's going to go down the street, legend. He's going to go down the street. Go down the street yes, he sure. is considered for one sure. of the top rappers in terms of popping, in terms of popularity right now. Friend, NBA Young Boy. Yeah. That is undoubted. That is not a conversation no more. That is, not, I'm not saying he's the top. He is no, one of go the ahead, top. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But I, yeah, it might not even be my top personal five, favorite. No, I'm not going to cap. But in terms of like, Joe Bowen is considered one of the more popping podcasts, right? Podcasters, podcasters. So, and I think that that's where like the, the there's a there's an extreme caveat and extreme, you know, it's, it's subjective, but I feel like that's an extreme caveat on Young Boy. I think you make the blanket statement of Joe Budden is one of the top podcasters. Stop. Full stop. Oh, so and that may be the difference. Podcaster, it is Joe. Top rapper is debatable. So you're being serious. Do, 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 y'all, do y'all think Joe Buttons is the the biggest hip hop podcaster right now in that I space? Think? I mean, Charlotte, I Charlemagne, think. like just personality wise, not just the podcast brand. I uh, think Char- Charlemagne's I up there. Yeah. I would say he's probably he the biggest hip hop yeah, podcaster. Yeah. Who would be bigger than him? Yeah, I think that's Joe. There's Joe. Okay. And then and then I I'm looking at the time where Young Boy. This is back in 2018. I looked at his uh touring history because he's never really like led or nah. they're not a, but they're also wouldn't i wouldn't well even if they're considered hip-hop i would still say that joe button is yeah in hip-hop and, joe, sure. and they've had those conversations recently joe button is bigger they, they know joe button is bigger they admit that joe button is bigger joe button mm-hmm. is in the conversation I, you know i'm not acting like i'm well versed on the podcast game but he's up there with like joe rogan for real for real. no no funny shit um what this one might be a tear I didn't I, I, I didn't I, 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 I listen 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 I didn't I did not say that because I think that there's Drake and then there's a gap and then there's B rapper but yeah. to say that they're in that same yeah so I, I guess you say the top three now there's a gap between one and two <laughs> there's a gap Joe, between one and two yeah yeah name 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 the other podcast if you can think of the other podcast now I'll, I'll give it that's up. just podcasts in general that's bigger than Joe Buttons mm-hmm. oh I can't. Speak. I can't. NPR. I'm not saying, he's not on. He's not on YouTube, so I can't compare. NPR numbers. account. No, that ass like wow. NPR is in the in the. That's just. That's just. Oh, I would say, I'm, does I'm not. Tiger Belly, I'm not Tiger Belly, but uh, Bad Friends. Does do they have better numbers than Bad Friends? What's it's that? What's that white woman's podcast Friends, that's on Barstool? She oh, call her daddy. What are you talking about? You don't do it anymore. How are they? You don't do it no more though. I thought. Oh, okay. Remember Chamberlain? Um, maybe Bad Friends. Bad Friends podcast. Andrew what about that uh, podcast to be on Twitch or you on there? No, they don't. No, they don't. They don't. I'm looking at it off the off the click. Yeah, nah, they don't. What, what about that uh, pod that be on Twitch now and then? I think they call it like Buck I'm not sure what Joe does. Is Impulsive a, not a bigger like, podcast? Am I tripping? Uh, maybe, maybe. I'm not. I'm. Yeah, yeah. I think that, Impulsive what? averages like 600k on YouTube now. The audio shit might change shit. So yeah, and that and that would be the. Uh, yeah. The conversation, but maybe, yeah, yeah, genuinely, maybe. Uh, what's it called? I don't know if the Nelk Boys still do their podcast, but that will be a conversation. But also, I think Impulsive isn't necessarily consistent enough to maybe have that conversation. All right, this is a quick glance on those numbers, but 
Last episode he did was 13 days ago. Um, I don't know about frequency that would make it there, but you know, like, hey, hey. Shit, Joe might be the ethical pot wa- uh, pocket watcher. No, nah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I'm not a. I'm it not might a be Joe, bro. I'm like, not a pot. I don't know. Bro. I don't it know the audio free. numbers. I don't know how. I don't know how the audio numbers look at him on a per episode basis. I don't know how their numbers look at him on a per episode basis. I was just thinking of the biggest podcast that I know. Um, but if they're clearing bad friends, then fuck it, they give them number two. I don't know what Schultz is doing, but I would assume no, Schultz, Schultz is in there. Yeah, but he's so, not. He's not he, above. Uh, would you? Would y'all say Joe Rogan is bigger than Young Boy? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just yeah, yeah, want to clear the air on them. Why, wider audience. Why audience diff? Audience diff or something. Also, yeah. Oh, what I was audience. gonna. What I was gonna. <laughs> what I was gonna read too was I saw the um, places and spaces that Young Boy has led his own concert, in which he has led his own concert, mm-hmm. not been a feature on a concert or whatever. These venues are sub ten thousand. I'm not gonna lie. But that was. In- that was in 2018. It was. It was. It was. And, and there's no way. But there's. I'm, I'm just there. trying to. I'm just trying to get an accurate way to measure. It. There's no real accurate way. But I'm just comparing yeah. the places like where said, he was. The places where he was in 2018. That thousand view venue in in Tuscaloosa. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Joe could fill that. Even Wait, the one well, that's. Oh my, my bad. I just want to point this out. If if the point is like weekly streams, doesn't Young Boy get a bunch of YouTube views? Yeah, young boy is a yeah. YouTube. Be sure. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that, that's that's what I'm it's saying. Like, if, if we're looking at first week sales and even concert sales, and we're making the argument that your reach is like social media is a big part of this, young boy gets a shit ton of uh, YouTube views. Yeah the, the, yeah, the the main thing with young boy, and I've always said analyzing his uh, fame is always a little bit weird, is because even if you were to try to just do a raw scan, especially if you're a person that doesn't routinely listen to him like myself. You'll look at his numbers and think he's like dwining or whatever. The nigga just drops that much music. Like, I'm being so serious. That's just what it is. It sounds cringe, but it, I promise you it's true. Again, I can only say from real life experiences, these diehard young boy fans in my chat, every other motherfucking weekend, they'll send me like an album, a project, or a single, and young boy dropped again. I'm like, damn, again? <laughs> like, damn, this nigga dies in the studio. So, this thing, young boy got shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, oh, uh, the new hype podcast with the Kelsey brothers is up there too. And and I know Chad is going dick suck. I probably I don't even know. I don't know. So don't if, know you could, if you could, if you could, oh let no, me these know numbers on YouTube episode. are crazy. I'm looking at this shit right now. For who? Ooh, young boy, yeah, or- yeah, for young boy. Mm. Yeah, young boy shit is crazy. No, young boy's YouTube cheat code. That I know for a fact. Yeah, really yeah this like nigga's YouTube is crazy. And mind you, if I'm Joe Budden, I would just say it too. Like, oh, fuck y'all gonna check me? Like, I, I would say it too. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my God, yeah, my yeah, face on dick yeah it, his YouTube is insane. Yeah, why wouldn't even promote this? Yeah, same. What the exactly, same. Because I'm like, yo, his YouTube is. He didn't promote that project. Oh, yeah, nah, that nigga Chico. Oh, my God. Yeah, Chico. Wait, hold on. I haven't checked these numbers in a minute. Bro, Young Boy is weird, bro. Young Boy's YouTube is crazy. Not not in the cancel weird, but like just in YouTube. And they got it, bro. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Be so Spotify. Spotify says, uh, you know, the Wizard Liz, that that one woman. Mm -hmm. They said she has a top 100 podcast in the world. Mm. Which... Talking about just chatting. <laughs> <laughs> no, Boy. she's supreme. If you want it, wish supreme it. Supreme chatting. Wish it. Apparently, she, she, she's like a woman Andrew Tate. That's how the people. Really? Yeah. Really? Get your I'm like, oh my god, let me watch next time. But for, but for like the bot, you know, the boss woman type shit. I mean, oh I should. Gosh, would exist one day. Let me not say that. Andrew Tate, uh, Andrew Tate's son or Wizard Liz's daughter. <laughs> 